Welcome back to another edition to the Electrician uh, Tool Channel. Today I'm going to do a, a short review on uh, remote probes. And those of you who don't know what remote probes are, remote probes are, uh, it's a test lead uh, with a, a probe on it that has, that has a switch inside of it. And you use it on or use it with uh, insulation testers. Uh, and once you have the probe in your hand, it eliminates the button that's on the insulation tester. So you don't have to reach back and grab and touch the button on the instrument or, you know, you'd be more flexible with the probe in your hand. Once you ground it, uh, ground the other cable off and you can have the probe in your hand, you're more flexible to do what you want to do as far as uh, making your test. So um, I have right here uh, in front of you right now, five uh, remote probes from different manufacturers. The one uh, to your to your left, to your farthest left, this is from Mega. This is an SP5 from Mega, and this costs about a hundred. If you had to buy the probe yourself as an accessory, I've seen it run anywhere to almost two hundred dollars just for this probe. Uh, second to it is the Ideal Industries. Um, this. One here belongs to their their meter. Hold on one second, let me get it out. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just pull a pull a pull a meter out as we go through it. So hold on one second. All right. Okay. I'm gonna start off from the from from the Mega again. This is the Mega uh, SP5 Remote Pro. It plugs into the top of this Mega right here. And once you put the common or the, uh, the grounding uh, uh, lead in pro, uh, alligator clip or a probe in this one, and uh, you use, let me put this down right here, you, you would use this button that's right here to apply the test voltages to whatever you're testing. Now, uh, Mega, let me see, and um, the one next to it here is ideal industries um, and this one belongs to their their installation tester model number 61-797 and you would plug that tester into these two ports right here these you know you uniquely made ports right here you would do and you would operate the same way as you would use this one and so this one could be used in this one. Now, I'm gonna tell you something else down, I'll, I'll get back to it about, and it's, a, it's gonna be about this one and this one, concerning this multimeter right here, I mean this uh, insulation tester right here. Now, uh, and I'm, this one belongs to the Fluke 1587 FC. That's the, that's the insulation tester slash multimeter. All of these are insulation testers slash multimeters. Now, some of them just have regular basic functions as far as multimeter functions. And that's, that, that's all you would need probably with an insulation tester as far as, uh, long as it has temperature on it and temperature, data logging won't, won't hurt. Uh, Bluetooth, that won't hurt either. But it gotta have voltage, AC, DC, have resistance, continuity, things like that. And your test voltages, you'd be okay. This one have is basic also kind of, this one have uh, a few other, uh, basically the same function this does. Uh, lock button, this have a lock button and uh, the comp bu compare button, the store button, that's when you're data logging. The voltages, this go from 200 to 1000. This go from 50 volts to 1000. But back to this, um, to the probes, you operate this the same way you would do with this one. You would plug this one inside of here and you would, uh, basically ground it off and you would, you know, test whatever you're testing. Now, like I said about this fluke, this goes to the 1587 uh, FC. Now, I don't know if this probe is universal, if it will, because fluke have several testers, um, uh, insulation tester, where they have a multifunction tester, it is it's slash, it's called installation tester. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this would fit in there. But uh, 
you would use just the same, and this is Fluke's uh, version of their remote probe. This one is by Unity. Now, what I was going back to, I said I wanted to tell you something about these two concerns, this meter. This one is by Unity. What I found out, I don't, uh, now I don't have a Unity um, installation tester, so, but I bought this when I had gotten this meter and I kind of figured that they kind of look alike. I didn't know, but this was a good price. That's what made me purchase this one. And come to find out that it do fit this meter. Now, uh, that goes to say, I'm, I'm wondering if this one, I'm almost sure it'll fit the Unity. I can't think of the name of the, uh, the, the model number of that, um, the installation tester, but it's the, it's the installation tester slash multimeter. Uh, but this one is this one fits this one also, and um, this one has the button on it, and the price was unbeatable, so that's why I just got it. So, and this one goes to uh, in, uh, um, Hayoki installation uh, installation tester. Now, this one has a little light, little work light on the front of it, you know, a little gimmicky work light, and it's real bright. It's the LED. It's it's, it's really nice. But all of them work the same. And the reason why I'm doing a review on these is I'm going to tell you which one I think is the best out of all of them. Out of all of these, which one is the best? Uh, so that's the fluke. And I'm going to just put each one of them by, by their test, by their, uh, okay. Now I don't have, like I said, I don't have this one. So, but I do have the units. I mean, uh, how, how you open Okay, so, and this is a Hayoki right here that goes with this one. But um, these are all, I, got, I feel like I'm missing, I feel like I'm missing a, a, a tester. I am, but I, that's right, but it, it doesn't have, a, I have an etch tech to also, but it don't have a remote probe to it. But anyway, uh, the whole purpose of this video is I just wanted to shine light on which one that I think, my opinion only, which one I think has the best remote probe. And uh, I'll let you judge it too. You can leave your your, your pick in the comments. Uh, but and before I go even further, fellas, um, if you like if you if you like these video this video or any of my videos, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, because uh, I'm constantly trying to build a channel. Uh, if you got any kind of value out of this, what I'm doing at all, I appreciate it if you hit, the chat, uh, hit that like button, man. It sure would help the channel out. Okay? Uh, and um, But anyway, back to this. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, put each one inside of their respective device, and you just tell me how it looks to you, which one looks more professional, and which one you think is the best. Our, you know, so this is the Mega. I'm going to put this in here. The mega. Okay, let's we'll move this over here. Let's go with the ideal. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on this side because I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put the. Uh, the Unity, plug it in on the other side because it does fit, and I just I don't have a meter for it, so I'll just show you how it looks in in, in that meter. But anyway, let's do the fluke. Let's do the fluke, and we'll see just how. Where is it? Here we go. It's the fluke. Fluke. I'm gonna do the ideal. I'm gonna do the ideal because it's just so 
if I have the wires all tangled up, all stretched out, it won't look as nice and neat. So, let me do this. Bear with me a minute, that fellas. Just trying to Now let me do the bagger. Let me just put it like that. Put this idea over here. And I'll do the unity, the same thing because uh, Oh no. Oh no, it didn't fit in there. This is not the one that it fit in. I think I am missing one. Um it wasn't this one. Guys, I'm, um, was it this one? Yeah, it was the fluke. I thought it was the ideal. Anyway, it was the fluke that it fit into. I had it wrong. I thought it was an ideal. So, okay, let me just put this back in here the way it was. Uh, the Unity, that's how it looks inside the fluke. But I'm going to put the fluke, the original one, back in. Um, and the high OP. It's like this. So now I'm not going to turn them all on, guys, because I don't. I don't have batteries. I think I have the batteries in these three because they have remotes in them. I mean, uh, I have. Uh, I think I have batteries in this too. And batteries in this too. You know, I took them out of the flute. Yeah, the batteries are out of all of them except those two. But anyway, guys. Got an idea how um, how, that, how it looks inside of uh, inside of the, the meters, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just let you know which one I think um, I would pick as being the, the 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 best one out of them all, and uh, and. My number one out of them all would be uh, the Mega. I mean, this this is a beast of a of a remote probe. Do you, do you guys see how thick that thing is, and how heavy duty it looks? Not to mention that I like that it sits on top, out of the way. It's not like in the front. I I really do like that, uh, but it's 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 real heavy and, and and real thick. So I like the cable. And uh, but anyway, well, this this would be my my first choice. Um, my second choice would be kind of hard out of these two. Um, if I had to go with which one I think would be more manageable, the idea is much thicker for sure. The fluke look look this how they look apart from one another. Um, I like the way that, you know, when it's nice and big. So I would I would go with the Unity second. Yeah, I would go to the second one would be the Unity. The first would be the, the, the Mega. The second would be the Unity. Uh, out of this fluke and this one. I'm trying to see what... Hmm... So 
up? Uh, I think I would have to go with something about this fluke. I really like how it feels in my hand. So uh, I go with the fluke, third, the ideal four, and the remote probe on the Hayoki, uh, uh, be the fifth one. So let me just go by it again, fellas, which one I'll do. The Mega will be first. The uh, Unity will be second. The, the, the Fluke will be third. The Ideal Remote Probe will be fourth. And the Remote Probe on the Hayoki will be five. So that's what that would be. That's how that would go. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, this is one, this is a beast of a, a beast of a, uh, remote probe. Let me get these out of the way. Now, yeah, this is a beast of a remote. Look how thick this thing is, man. This thing is really thick. It's heavy duty, too. Can, and if you compare it to, let's just say, the wire on, uh, on this proof, if I had to look at the thickness between the two. Look at so I mean and if, for those of you who don't know, Mega was the inventor of uh, the megometer. Mega was. And uh, you know, they they're not as famous for it as you, you know, as as uh, since, since everybody out with them. You would think uh, who got the best um, uh, insulation tester? That's for another story, you know. Out of fluke and mega and all the rest of them, that's for another story. In fact, I think I did a video on all all of what I'm saying. But even the ideal, this 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 one, is much thicker than the ideal, the uh, the cable, the um, this unity, thicker than that is also, and for sure it's thicker than this Hayoki cable right here for sure so the mega had have to get it this is a top notch and this thing would cost about uh, I saw it uh, in fact I just um, this did not come with my with, with, the, with the insulation tester what I bought that I have for mega uh, that tester cost like $700 and the one for mega and this cost about 200 if you go on online and get it and that's off eBay so if you're going through Mega, it's probably going to hit you, yeah, a little over $200. And I'm not going to say it's not worth it. I'm not going to say it's not. But if you need something like this, you know, I mean, if you have one like this, it's nice to have. But, uh, you know, if, if you don't have it, you got to spend $200. And if you need it and got to have it, spend the $200. But this is a real nice, real nice um, test probe. Very nice test probe. And uh, so are these, you know. So are these, but that'll be my pick. So guys, not, not to hold you any longer, you know, just wasting time. I just want to thank you for letting me take up your little time on with these, uh, with all of my videos that I put out. And I thank you for watching. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button also, because when you do that, you're helping the channel out, man. You help me out, and I appreciate it. I'm doing this. I'm not getting paid for none of this, but you're helping the channel out. So um, hit that like button for me, and I would appreciate it. And I'll try to keep the videos coming. And um, with that being said, you guys take care and peace out.